Hello everyone, uh, Snap Trading here. Uh, today is uh, May 16th, Thursday. I'll be going my recap for today. Um, so today I uh, started with uh, a green day. Um, then I went to give away my profits and then went ahead and stayed green afterwards. Um, so if you are new to the channel, uh, I make uh, day trading videos daily, uh, recapping all my trades. Um, going over my thought process and if you would like to follow my adventure um, and my struggles through this uh, trading journey um, hit the subscribe button and that will help me um, okay so let's get started so ARQL so ARQL is my first uh, trade here down the list um, so it, it had a, a, a little trend line break here um, of the, I think it was the 695 area. Um, I kind of missed that trend line break. Uh, so I went ahead and took the, when it was kind of consolidating here, you can see it's forming this uh, cup and handle a little bit here. Uh, so I went ahead and started small here. Uh, and then when it broke the, the, uh, the handle, I went ahead and uh, sized it um, to my full position. So, uh, size in there and that was also, also the the uh, 5 minute 9 EMA break so I went ahead and still short it there and then uh, as you can see I took profits along the way and then the 15 minute was the 15 minute 9 EMA was the target there so I think it hit right at the 15 minute and bounced off so it was a good coverage down there uh, and that was a $100 winner uh, the next trade was CPRX. So CPRX, uh, I actually went here twice and I took a, a loss twice uh, for around 50 and 60 each uh, with a total of $111 loss. So what I saw here was this uh, 375 area as a key area and then I was drawing this flag. So I got in a little early um, but as you can see here, 75 was support, 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 resistance, and then it was popping back up here, uh, and then it became support. So this could have been a good breakout pattern, but um, it's consolidating here, uh, and then it 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 fell here. So I I actually went in a little too early. You can see it didn't it hasn't uh, breaking out of this uh, pattern. Uh, so I went ahead started a little early because. Um, uh, probably a bit of me is a FOMO, uh, but I went ahead and took uh, my stop loss as below this entry uh, or below this uh, 375. So that stopped me out there. Um, so that that took a $60 loss. And then I had another entry here. So if you drew this line perfectly, you can see that a tiny bit popped up there. So I went ahead and took the, the long there, but and also the 375 break, uh, but it, it fell again, so I took it out for another the loss there. So unfortunately, I uh, took two, two losses here. Uh, could have been uh, a good breakout point if more volume came in or this pattern uh, worked out, but um, it's okay. You win some, you lose some, and you take some uh, risk. Uh, Cisco. So Cisco, I think I went in just prematurely. I think this was more of a, I was looking at it for a five minute reversal, but it never gave a five minute reversal. Uh, but then I saw this doji, so I was kind of interested. So when I started short and pretty much just covered a few minutes later for a $23 loss. Uh, RAD, so RAD, uh, this one had almost uh, making a good pattern and again I went in a little early again so you can kind of see um, the ones that I do go in early are the ones that are losing so it's always better to wait so I saw this pattern uh, kind of cup and handle for me went in early it didn't break out uh, but what what I think what I want to see is if it retest that line and then another cup here 
and then potentially this will be a good breakout pattern. But um, I think the other thing was, I think on the 60 minute, yes, yeah, so on the 60 minute here, it was overextended. So that's potentially why it kind of fell to hold um, around this area. So I took a $35 loss here with my, so I broke, I broke those highs and I bought there and then I stopped out of below that uh, support line. And that was $35 loss. S books, uh, S uh, Starbucks was a was a trade in the late afternoon. Uh, I saw this kind of having his head and shoulder here, um, and then a little lower high, lower high for me. So there was this three uh, seventy eight ninety six area that was for me. And you can see this little cup and handle. Um, I took a short there. It broke retest it and then went back down so it took some profits just along the way here and then near VWAP and then pretty much just covered like a tiny position left uh, into the close there uh, that was just a small $26 winner on uh, Zion so Zion I traded both sides today uh, on the long side and on the short side so on the long side oh man did I left a lot of money on the table because uh, I didn't let it trail so here uh, there was this, uh, I think it's the 1430 area, it was breaking out. I bought there with my stop off of the 1420 area. Um, and then I sold so partial there and then I just end up selling the rest there. And it went all the way to the $16, right? Um, so that was $43 on the long side there. Um, and then I took a small win here on the short side. Uh, I think it was, this was a five minute retest. So you can see that I shorted that and pretty much covered at that five minute uh, test. And then I uh, stop out break even. This was just a quick win, a uh, small win. Uh, and then I took, I think I took a loss here trying to short um, so you can see I missed this uh, big cup and handle break went ahead and retest this and then I went ahead and short that um, short trying to short the pop it didn't um, continue down so I ended up stopping out when it formed this higher low and then breaking above the, the breakout uh, breakdown point there um, and then later on it started to form um, these lower lower highs um, and then this 15 10 area um, but I was watching it when it was forming this here so you can see it's forming this uh, triangle it broke here I went ahead and started short it retested and added it more um, <coughs> I took uh, some near VWAP there, and then it was consolidating around this area. So I had a lot of patience with this, uh, thinking it was gonna fail because it totally break, broke below these lows. Um, but what ended up happening was it uh, washed away down VWAP, uh, covered there and covered most of my stuff shares there, and it popped right back over here. So good thing that I covered the rest of VWAP and it was also support of this area. Um, that was a $196 uh, winner uh, and yeah so uh, lots of trade today um, I think uh, what I could have done better is to be more patient on this trade here uh, let let my uh, long ride uh, could have taken you know uh, let a tiny bit ride there and then also not to get in early before the pattern uh, triggers. So you can see that there's a lot of uh, pattern that I'm getting in too early, getting too trigger happy, FOMO, and just getting in when it's not the time. So um, as always, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.